Hey guys, I'm just giving you a quick tip today on how to save a template in Logic. It saves you a bit of time if you want to have your plugins uh, ready and set up for your project when you're starting. Obviously they change with every project depending on the genre of music you're doing, but it is handy to have some things there and it does save you some time, which is good when you're when time is of essence. So uh, if I just go on to new here, you can see I've got a couple of templates saved. One is for mixing, so I'll have things set up on my master bus and um, on a couple of channels, or a couple of buses for a mix project. Like I said, depending on the genre of music that you're doing, you'll change the settings on these and things. Um, it's good to have settings saved on the actual plugins on the channels, again, to save you time. And then there, I've just got another one. If I was going to do some production, uh, if I was going to rewire Logic to Ableton, I've got basically a lot of AUX channels set up, um, ready to go into Ableton, so that saves me some time too. So you can see, for an example, when I click on mixing, It'll open up and I have some stuff on the master, um, some parallel compression buses, a vocal bus and a drum bus. As I said, the settings will change on these things, but it's a good uh, starting point to get you going. If you want to do that, you can just put your plugins on your channels, set things up how you'd like it. Hit save as template, name the template, and then that template will be in the list um, when you start Logic Up. So yeah, it's a good little time saver. See you in the next video.